Hello and welcome to a new video. This video will be about a problem in the old school RuneScape rollback system. This problem duplicates and deletes items in the live game. So please watch the full video before commenting and spreading misinformation. Often in the past when I made a controversial video there were people commenting before actually understanding the problem or the thing that I was talking about. Disclaimer. I do not support bug abuse. If you abuse a bug, you will probably get banned. I made this video so that Jagex fixes this problem. I know that they already know about this problem, but I think it has a low priority currently because they think rollbacks won't happen often. What is a rollback? A rollback is whenever something bad happens, so Jagex back, uh, sets back the state of the servers to an earlier point in time. This happened twice in the last year. Once when the max cash dupe happened, when you killed someone in PvP and just got max cash, and once when the twisted bow bug happened, where there was just a spawn of twisted bows outside of the farming guilds. So I actually wanted to make this video one week ago, right after the Tebow bug happened, but I was sick so I couldn't talk well, so I made the video now. Before we can start talking about the problem, we have to be clear about some definitions. Things we need are the last logout of your accounts before the rollback. So that is the time that you logged out before the rollback, basically when you set your last player, player profile. Then we need the rollback time. This is equal to the bad update, update time. Then comes the never happened period. That's the time where you got max cash or a twisted bow and all that stuff that all gets rollbacked. And then we have the time after the rollback time where the game just continues normally. So let's get to the problem. Your G trades are set to your account's last logout time instead of the rollback time. So to put that in different words, the G server does not synchronize your trades that happen between last logout time and rollback time. And now I'm going to try to explain to you why this is really bad with an example how someone could abuse this. I'm adding a second disclaimer here. So do not do this. I made this example because I think that people already know about this and are already doing this in the shadows. And until everybody understands this problem, they can just keep on doing it. You will probably get banned if you do this. So that everyone can understand the dupe that one could do, I'm going to explain it how one would do it. So first, the preparations. The guy who would do this dupe would need two accounts. You, it's obviously one player. You have a buyer account, let's call that B, and a seller account, let's call that S. Then you need a dead item. A dead item is an item that it's so rarely traded on the GE that if you put up an offer for a ridiculous amount of money, it doesn't come. But your dead item needs to be producible easily. Something I found in two minutes of searching was Steel Bolts P+. They don't buy for 100k. So one could do this with Steel Bolts Plus. First, one would have to create 11k Steel Bolts Plus because you want to use the full buy limit. That would cost that guy around 6 mil because you need to buy the Weapon Poison P plus and the Steel Bolts. And then, because 11k times 100k is 1.1 bill, you need to place 1.1 bill on account B. So now account S has 11k Steel Bolts P plus and account B has 1.1 billion in GP. So now that player would want to put up a GE trade. So on account B, he would put up a buy offer for 11k steel bolts plus for 100k each. This is extremely dangerous, by the way. If somebody put, uh, sells you that steel bolts, you're gonna give him a lot of money. So then you want to log out and you do not want to log into this account again, or that guy would not want to log into this account again. So then on the other account, account S, you would sell 11k steel bolts P plus for 100k each and get the 1.1 bill from account B to account S. Then you just wait until a rollback happens. This might take years or months. 
and never log into account B because as soon as you log into account B or the guy logs into account B, it's over. The only money that is bound at this point is the 11k steel bolts P plus, so like 6 mil, because you already took out that 1.1 bill by selling them and that 1.1 bill went to player S. So, after the rollback happened, something bad happened, oopsie doopsie, troopsie, let's roll back the servers. You're like, happy game, log into account B, since account B's lost GE logout state still has a buy offer for Steel Bolts P plus up that is not fulfilled, you can kill that buy offer, like decline it, and you have 1.1 bill GP again, but no Steel Bolts P plus. So you turned your 1.1 bill plus the 6 mil you spent on the Steel Bolts P plus into 2.2 bill GP. So you can see that this is extremely dangerous. So to summarize the example, so everybody can understand the outcome. Before there were 1.1 bill in GP and 11k Steel Bolts P plus in the game. But after the rollback, this turned into 2.2 bill GP because the server did not synchronize with account B correctly and the trade never happened on one side but it happened on the other one. So you created money out of nothing or to put it better you turned 6 mil worth into 1.1 bill worth. So this error happens even if nobody abuses it. Since this happens to all trades, a lot of items are destroyed or created when a rollback happens. This is not good for the economy and needs a fix, even if it was not abusable. So let me explain to you why this destroys and creates items even if there is nobody with a malicious intent behind it. So to the non-malicious example. For example, the day before a rollback happens, you know nothing about the rollback, you just put in a buy offer for Nelly for 590 mil overnight so you can save yourself some money on buying it because you don't want to insta buy it. Then you also put in a sell offer for your rapier because you don't need it anymore for 205 mil. It's at the moment only like 200 mil so it doesn't fulfill immediately. Both offers don't fulfill before you log out. You log out and go to sleep. While you are logged out and before the rollback time happens, both trades are fulfilled. So that means somebody bought your rapier, took it out of the chi, somebody sold an Ellie to you and took the money out of the chi. So then, while you are still asleep, a bad update hits and then they roll back the servers. And after they rolled back the servers, you log back in and both your trades are not fulfilled. So what actually did this do? So after you log back in, the next day after everything bad happened, you just decline both trades. So you have ex exactly the same as before. So you have one rapier and 590 mil. So what exactly happened? So the Ellie disappeared and 590 mil were created and the 205 mil for your rapier disappeared and one rapier was created. This is extremely bad for the economy, like in the rollbacks that happened so far it might have created about as many as it destroyed, but who knows. So this is like, this can have a bad impact on everything. Imagine there's a super rare item of which only one is around and then suddenly after rollback there are two of that super rare item. If you have any questions about the video or anything first read the pinned comment because often when I get asked a question a lot of times I try to put the answer in the pinned comment so you don't have to ask it again. I will try to answer all questions in the comments. Please don't put your question in a comment chain which is longer than 10 already because the app I use kind of fucks up and don't doesn't load your comment in anymore. You can ask in Discord if I miss your comment. The Discord link is in the description. So that's everything for this video. Please leave a like. I went on a limb making this video and I'm actually not sure if it was a smart idea. 
because but I think the only way they fix it is if they acknowledge that it is a problem. Here's all my social media links, they're all in the description. And also, join the clan chat Michaels first, if you want to ask me anything and you want to have a quick answer. If I'm online, I usually answer there, or PM me on any of my accounts.